How's it going, everybody? It's Clint from the Die Hard MMA Podcast. This is UFC Vegas 259, most stacked card of the year. Me and my guest, Matt Holt, break the whole thing down from a betting perspective. Check it out at the link below. Head on over to odds.com. Give us a like while you're at it and have a good week. Good luck on all your betting action. Matt, let's uh, let's kick this thing off, man. We are starting off with a bang, we've got Mario Bautista taking on Trevin Jones in the Bantamweight division. And you know what? I'm, I'm going to shake it up a little bit. Do you want to start us off? Do you want to tell me uh, what sure. you feel about this one? Look, I love this fight, and I actually think this is a showcase fight. And sometimes opening fights to a card are supposed to be showcase fights. This one feels like it is a little bit to me here. Bautista is really good. This is a guy who's fought good competition in and outside of the UFC, eight and one and eight and one in his career with his only loss to Corey Sandhagen. That loss couldn't look any better now. Three knockouts, three subs. So he has finishes in six of his eight wins. He's five foot nine compared to only five foot six for Jones here. I think he's going to use that height advantage, that size advantage. He, I think he's better everywhere this fight goes. And the minus 220, and I rarely lay a favorite, but I would consider laying minus 220 here because I'm not exactly sure how I see him winning this fight. I act, At first, I thought I was going to play him just inside the distance. I might even play him by knockout because I think that power may show up here versus Jones. I may even get a ground and pound knockout late. But at the end of the day, I really like Batista here in this fight and believe truly that they actually set him up for a showcase win here. Yeah, this is one that uh, I'm really struggling on, Matt. It's uh, it, This is such a big card. There's so many great opportunities for betting. I'm going to take my first pass on this one because we've got Bautista, who's done nothing but impress. I mean, this kid is 8-1. and one. He's a brown belt in jiu-jitsu, super light on his feet. He explodes and closes the distance. He knows how to use his length. My only issue is he gets a little wild in there sometimes. He'll throw flying knees. He's willing to brawl. He drops his hands, and he's going up against Trevin Jones. Now, Jones, I'm not sure what to think of this guy. He got he dug deep against Timor Valiev in his last fight, and then he flatlined the dude that we've seen is just levels above what he showed us that first day. He's training at Extreme Couture. He's actually a black belt in jiu-jitsu, extremely physically strong, and all this guy does is wing big power shots, and if he ends up on top of you on the ground, he will beat you through the canvas. So... I'm not going to touch this one because I understand that Bautista is probably deserving of the price tag that he's got. He's been bet up right now as well. He's all the way up to minus 235, and I, I can't do it. Not with the way that I've seen him get in there and wing. He's relied on his chin to this point so far, and if anyone's going to crack that chin, Jones has shown that he's fully capable of doing it. He may. Look, he may crack him a bit. I also think he's going to win a bit. I just feel like he's even a bit small for this weight class. And Bautista is huge. He's a big, sturdy five foot nine. And you're going to see when these two get close to each other that Bautista is going to look a full weight class heavier than Jones. Uh, you know, three inches taller, big reach advantage, big size advantage, big shoulders. These two look a weight class apart. And let's say that the talent disparity isn't that far apart. At the end of the day, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I, we have to say Bautista's talent level right now is probably a little bit ahead of him. Add in all the size advantages, feels like Bautista to me. And I never say favorite or pass, but it feels like favorite or pass here. Yeah, that's a, that is an absolute tough spot to go. I, I really don't like uh, favorite or pass myself, but I mean, you're right. I got pick him to win. I just can't put my money on it. I the the things I've seen, the way he drops his hands, that that lucky shot that Jones landed is totally there. This fight, so I'm I'm tempted in maybe a a fight doesn't go to decision, or maybe looking at under two and a half a little bit later. Um, but this one from a from a side perspective, I think I'm just gonna sit it out. <laughs> 